If you want to know how you can make a pay to respawn in Roblox, where if I purchase the prompt whenever I'm dead, I'll respawn, and whenever I press cancel, I get kicked, you're going to have to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial I will be showing you how you can make a pay to respawn. Where I came up with this idea I have absolutely no idea I just looked at my discord server and someone said make a pay to respawn so that's exactly what I did I'm exactly making a tutorial on it and I don't really have to explain the idea I believe. Uh, if you die you can uh, choose to either purchase the respawn to play the game again or to cancel it. If you pay it if you purchase the the, the respawn thingy you will be respawned if you don't so if you click on cancel you will be kicked from the game this is the game idea or like the video idea of today it's pretty simple but i thought why not make a tutorial on it because i can if you're new to my channel and you do like this video make sure to give it a like if you like it if you don't like it give it a dislike subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on that notification bell to never miss out on anything i upload and if you want to become a member, make sure to click the blue join button down below to find out any more information about it. No refunds. Uh, just read it. Thank you. So, without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. Before we start, we need a developer product. A developer product is something in Roblox which you can purchase multiple times. So, a game pass, you can only purchase it once and you'll keep it forever unless you delete it. But, but a developer product can be purchased multiple times. So uh, to do that, you need to publish your game, which I already did. Paid respawn. You want to go on. You want to go to game settings, and you will see this beautiful UI. And then you want to go to monetization, and then you want to scroll down to developer products. Click on create, and scroll down. And then click edit. I'm gonna set it to uh, a ten robux. I want the respawn to be ten robux, and I'm going to call it respawn. I'm gonna click on save. And we need to get the ID, so you should go and head back to monetization, and then try and get that ID. I can't, so I'm just going to write it over. Um, so yeah, basically that. What we need now is a script in server script service. We're immediately going to call the script server, because it's a server script. Now we need to open that script, and we need to script something. So let's open that up right now. First of all, we need local, oh, oops, I, that's a mistake, okay, server, local players, is equals to game, call on get service, players, and let me just do that, okay, what this does, if, um, if you join the game and the players service, so this service right over here, if that doesn't exist, we'll make sure that, um, it will be created for you. We need. We also need the local marketplace service. Is equals to game. Come on, get service. Marketplace service. What this does is mostly handle all of the things in Roblox, where uh, with purchasing things. Before we continue coding, click on the players th service right over here and respawn time, and just spam a lot of nine, just like this. Just hold it for like three seconds, four seconds, and then press enter. You should see. I and F infinite which means that if you die you will not respawn anymore you will have to pay or you'll get kicked okay local function player added of a player instance and then uh, we, we all we need is immediately go to player so players or players my bad player dot character added colon connect function of a character now, what we're now going to do next is determine if a humanoid has died. And a humanoid is an instant uh, instance in a Roblox player, uh, which determines if they are a real player, an NPC, or basically nothing. So, character dot humanoid. The humanoid is always in the character, so that's why we can refer to character dot humanoid. Character dot humanoid dot died, colon connect, function, and we will leave the parameters open. We don't need any uh, arguments for it. And all we need to do now is marketplace service. So if you die, we will prompt you that you need to pay. So marketplace service, prompt product purchase to the player. 
and the ID I wrote over. So you just want to copy the ID. Uh, you just want to like write it over because you cannot copy in Roblox Studio. So just write it over and then put it on your clipboard on your Windows or Mac or whatever it is and just paste it in. This is your player added. Let's continue. Now, marketplace service that process receipt is equals to function of receipt info. And then if receipt info that product ID. So if you uh, purchase something, uh, Roblox will handle it by using process receipt. And now we're going to check what you purchased and if that is the um, the respond. So this is the respond ID. So if the product ID you just bought is the same as the respawn, then we're going to let you respawn because you purchased the developer product. So local player is equals to players colon get player by user ID because um, what we do now is receipt info that player ID and player ID as you can see ID and we need to get the player model by its user ID so that's why we use this and all we need to do if you purchase it player colon load character just that we're almost done so now we are going to check if your purchase failed. So if you, for example, did not buy the developer product. So what we use is marketplace service dot prompt product purchase finished. And you can just use that. Call connect function of a user ID, an asset ID, and an is purchased. So what this does, uh, the user ID is the player ID. The asset ID is the ID of the prompt uh, of the product you're going to buy or which filled and is purchase will determine if you closed it or not. So local player is equals to equals to players colon get player by user ID of your user ID. If your ID if asset ID is equals equals to the ID of the respawn and is purchased is equals equals to false which means you have closed the prompt then player colon kick because we do not need it we do not need you uh yeah we just we just don't need you anymore because you didn't buy it uh, you haven't you haven't purchased the respawn you have been kicked from the game alrighty basically this now for the last few lines uh, it's pretty simple for underscore comma player in i pairs of players players colon get players like this oh yeah and make sure to add an ado so for underscore comma player in i pairs players colon get players do and then we just do player added uh, of the player and players dot player added color connect of the player added function we made so this is everything so let's close the script and let's head over into our game so what happens if we die let's see boom oof as you can see we are not respawning at all because we set it to infinite and we can respawn uh, we can buy it or not so let's buy it yeah sure I want to I want to waste 10 robux as you can see, your purchase of respawn is succeeded, and we can click OK. So now we're back in the game, yeehaw. And we can now, if we die again, boom. So how about, nah man, I do not want to buy that. No, why not? No. As you can see, we are getting kicked because we don't want to buy it. You haven't purchased a respawn, you've been kicked from the game. It's really simple to make this. And um, thank you for the person who suggested this. So let's try it again. So, as you, see, as you saw, we can uh, just buy it, but I want to click cancel, nah man, and boom, we are kicked from our game. This is a very simple uh, concept of how to make a pay to respawn, especially in your uh, pay to win game. So if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial and you like it, make sure to give it a like if you like it. If you don't like it, give it a dislike, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on that notification bell, become a member by clicking the blue button down below, and all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say... Peace out.